Hi friends, welcome to math. Uh, I'm trying to make this so, so you can see it better, and, and I just don't see, think there's any way we're going to make this any better um, with the glare. So I'm going to try and hold it up when I can. We're going to use this sheet today, and it kind of looks like um, a seesaw on a playground. And when you sit on a seesaw, if you've ever sat on a seesaw, and one person sits here and one person sits here. If you guys weigh the same, if you're about the same size, this is how you're gonna sit. The board's gonna stay even and you're both gonna kind of have your feet on the ground and be bouncing a little bit. But if one of you is heavier than the other one, like if I got on the seesaw and let's say it's me and I can't say anybody's name, but let's say it's me and one of the kids here at school was sitting here. I would, the bar would, the board would come way down for me because I weigh a lot more than any of the kids here at school. And whoever was sitting here would be popping up in the air because they don't weigh as much as me. I'm heavier. You know, when you hold something heavy, it falls to the ground. If you don't hold it, it'll fall to the ground. And, and it, for you to, hold it off the ground, you have to use a lot of muscles, but something light, it'll fall to the ground too, but not as hard and it won't make as big a noise and it might even flutter to the ground. It might not fall straight down. Um, so we're gonna talk about things that are light and heavy and th things that weigh about the same, okay? And then you can practice putting them on your seesaw. We'll do a couple on the video, but then you can do more at home with mom and dad or grandma, grandpa, or brothers and sisters and practice what would make the seesaw go down and what would make it go up. All right, I'm gonna have to put this up here because I cannot hold it the whole time. So, uh, Maybe I can bring that video a little closer when we get one on there. All right, so let's see. That's a little bit better. All right, so let's start. You have a bunch of pictures that I gave you. So let's start with a picture of something we all know, an elephant, okay? Now, before we know where to put the elephant, we don't know where to put the elephant because we don't know who's gonna sit with the elephant, okay? So let's pick another thing that you all know, a teddy bear. Okay, so we have an elephant and a teddy bear. Okay, you have those two pictures. If they went on the seesaw, would they sit on the seesaw and the seesaw would stay the same because they are the same weight because they are they are both the same amount of heavy or the same amount of light i don't think so the elephant a real elephant is way bigger and heavier than a teddy bear you guys can hold a teddy bear you cannot hold an elephant so if these two were on the elephant would smush this bar way to the ground and the bear would pop up in the air. And that is how they would ride a seesaw together. All right, let's try a different pair. How about, get those sticking to me. How about, um, ooh, a leaf and a police car. Okay, we've got a leaf and a police car. A real police car, not a pretend one. A real car and a leaf that falls from a tree. Hmm. Well, if they sat on the seesaw, would they be at the same? Would they? Would, would the seesaw stay the same for the two of them? I don't think so. They do not weigh the same. They are different. A real police car weighs a lot more than one tiny little leaf. So if they were on the seesaw, the police car would smush the bar way, way down and the leaf would go flying in the air. And that is how they would share a seesaw. All right, let's try one more here. How about, oops, I need a little more tape. How about... 
sorry, that tape broke. Uh, balloons. And no, how about let's do the feather, the feather, which looks like this, and the butterfly, the feather and the butterfly. Okay, so if we put a feather and a butterfly on our seesaw, which seesaw should we use and where should we put it? Hmm, if we put it up here. Which one's heavier? Is the butterfly going to make the seesaw go down and the feather make it go up? I don't think so. How about the other way? Does the feather make the seesaw go down and the butterfly makes it go up? I don't think so. Neither one of these is heavy and neither one is heavier than the other because it doesn't have to be heavy to move the seesaw, but it has to be heavier than the other. I think these are the same. I've held a feather before. It, you can't even feel it. It's, it's not heavy at all. And a butterfly has landed on me before, and I don't even notice because it's so light. These two are the same. So they go on this bottom seesaw the same. They don't make the seesaw move at all because they are the same. All right, friends, so I want you to try doing some of these at home with some of your other pictures. You can put them on the seesaw and then ask someone if that's right, or you can test someone else and say, hey, you put them on the seesaw and I'll see if they're right, or where do these two go on the seesaw? All right, so try that at home, friends, and thanks for joining me. Bye.